Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now we've got the Mossberg MC1 subcompact. First shot with this single stack, nine millimeter Palmer frame handgun. Here we go. All right, that was with the seven round mag. They do have clear mags here. This is the seven round mag with the extended base plate. Allows for a full three fingers on the grip. Flat face trigger with a trigger bar in there. I measure it right at five and a half pounds. It does have front serrations, three dot sights, and the, the sights are metal, and a 3.4 inch barrel. Not a bad setup. Mossberg's first handgun in a while. Right out of the gate. Now here's the six round mag. And I've got just regular target loads, 124 grain. First shot's not too bad. Let's see how I do right here. Rabbit. There we go. The trigger is actually pretty nice. You know, a lot of people said when they reviewed this gun that from the onset it wasn't an excitable gun and I agreed with that I said this is not the most excitable thing in the world especially after all the hype that was thrown at Mossberg when they introduced this but when you get into the range it felt pretty good what other people say now the one thing that makes this a little unique is the grip texturing all right it's a little bit different but not bad not a game changer either way nothing so special and it's also nothing uh, that's a problem but the the disassemble it's a little strange. You cock this slide back, you remove this base plate. Let's see if I can do this. You have to push down. I was able to do this with my tabletop review, but uh, right now it's a little thicking. I had to do that, but you take out the trigger, I'm sorry, the firing pin assembly and the spring and everything, release the slide and off. If I drop the mag. All right, so there goes the spring. There goes the recoil spring and guide rod. All right, so this is what happens when you do a review at the range. Not everything works out. It's much easier with a tabletop review. But anyways, there it is. It is a captured recoil spring and guide rod. I'll put this back together while I'm going and seeing if anything else can mess up. I did have to drop the mag there. And we'll go ahead and put this back on, lock it back. Put this back in there, and there you go. I'll put this plate back on. I'm gonna load this back up. Here's the seven round mag loaded up. You can see that it is clear, it does have an orange follower. The MSRP and the MC1, 425. Between 350 and 370 average price for this gun. It's identical in size to the original Glock 43. It will take a shield holster, I, I, or it will fit in a shield holster, and it's 23 ounces loaded with eight rounds. So I think I got all the specs in there. Let's see how it does. All right, not so hot that time. But it has a decent feel to it. The, the flat trigger is nice. Pretty nice shooter. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I wish I could do a little better with it. <clears throat> that was a little better. So there it is guys, Mossberg MC1 subcompact. Not a bad little gun, very thin. I know a couple people had mentioned that they, they bought this gun, they really enjoyed it. It's performed well for me at the range. It's not the most excitable thing to come out in 2019, but not the worst either. You know, Mossberg came out the gate with a subcompact 
striker fired nine millimeter handgun with a unique takedown and a lot of people loving it a lot of people kind of in the middle i guess that's where i am with this but it did perform well at the range we'll see how the longevity is with the mc1 if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe